the AB Night Vision ARNVG. Let's go over this incredibly feature-rich articulating goggle system and see if it brings everything that you need to the table to meet your applications and needs. Guys, first off, I would like to say a huge shout out to the entire team down at AB Night Vision. Absolutely great people to work with and the craftsmanship and worksmanship of, a pre of all their products, but they blew it out with this one. It absolutely knocked it out of the park. So kudos, guys. These are absolutely phenomenal. I want to say thank you to them for sending these out to us before they went out to the masses so we can learn everything we need to know about this goggle system. That way we can then give that information to the community and to our customers. That way that they are picking the best device for their needs. So let's get into this awesome articulating goggle system. So the ARNVG, the Articulating Ruggedized Night Vision Goggle. Guys, this is without a doubt one of the toughest and most rugged and durable night vision housings that I have ever held in my life. The Not only is the workmanship and craftsmanship just absolutely phenomenal and they look amazing, they are built like a brick house. I mean, guys, these are absolutely just overbuilt in every single form and facet. So getting down to kind of all the things that you need to know, um, so again, these are made out of 7075 aluminum. So obviously for articulation on the front, we have two push button controls. The bottom button is to turn the power on to the goggle itself. The top button turns the built-in IR illuminator on and off. And you can see that IR illuminator right there in the front. Um, just in case that you were curious about what happens if you inadvertently hit your IR illuminator when you're in the field, AB has thought about that. And they have built what they call a fence and there is a protruding edge that goes around the IR illuminator push button control. That way that you do not inadvertently turn that on in the field. So when you have these goggles on and you reach up, you will feel that protruding edge. It's got two little kind of notches that stick out more at the bottom. That way when you reach up, you have a point of reference. So that way you're knowing whether you're hitting your power control or that IR illuminator. So You've got a dovetail mounting system here on the top. Again, we always recommend the Wilcox G24 for any dovetail mounting solution. Um, going around to the back, you have your battery port. These run off of a CR123, giving you anywhere from 15 hours all the way up to about 25 hours of runtime. And also, they've included a Limo port for a battery pack. There's a lot of different manufacturers out on the market that are making uh, battery packs that utilize a Limo port. One thing to remember, is this is confused quite a bit with the Fisher port that is used for the PVS31 Alpha battery pack, which is the called the cold weather battery pack. Those are different, so please do not use that battery pack with this. There are some differences in there, and you can damage your goggles. Um, but again, a Limo battery um, port is absolutely phenomenal. Um, by running this off of one of the numerous different systems out there, you could expect easily well above 50 hours of runtime. So um, going around to the bottom, you'll see these shinier pieces of steel right here on the bottom. And this is a magnet system for independent pod shutoff, which is an absolutely amazing feature. I'm a huge fan of this feature. If you don't know what that is, you've got the goggles down and you're utilizing them. You take and roll one of the pods out and it will kill power to that pod because it is breaking that connection, which is phenomenal whether you're hunting and utilizing a weapon mounted uh, weapon site or uh, sorry, a uh, weapon mounted thermal site, I apologize. And, um, or if you're, you're navigating, if you're driving, doing whatever it is, you know, you can sit there and roll these up. It is going to kill power to both of the pods. And then as you need to, you can bring those down. Now, on that note, bringing them down. If you've been in the night vision game for any amount of time, you've probably heard the term floppy boys. It was a term used you know, years ago with uh, some of the older DTMVGs and 31As and stuff like that. And that is if you were doing any form of dynamic movement um, and you have one of the pods up, that as you move, the pod would slowly work its way down. You are not gonna have that issue with the ARNVG. It is, when it's there, it is there. You have to make a determined movement to reach up and pull that down. But AB took it to the next level. And right here on the front, you have these two flathead screws. And what that is, is that is a user adjustable tension system for your pods. So if you want them to be easier to pull up or to pull down, you can simply adjust that in the field with either a flathead screwdriver or a coin or what have you. Great little feature to have. So that way that you can dial these into exactly your needs. Um, 
Again, I can't brag enough on the craftsmanship and worksmanship. I'll roll in some close-up video of these goggles. They look absolutely phenomenal. I absolutely love the FDE. They come in FDE and they come in a flat black. It is a non-reflective coating, so not only do they look great, you're gonna get years and years of, of use out of that and not have to worry about you know scuffs and scratches and stuff like that. Um, Anytime that anybody talks about a goggle system that is made out of anything other than, you know, polymers and everything like that, um, weight comes into mind. And they, however they did it, their wizardry, they made, they made it work very well. Uh, the Acton Black DTNVS is one of the lightest goggle systems on the market that features articulation. With PVS-14 optics and a battery on board, you're looking around 18 and a half to 19 ounces for a Acton Black DTNVS. The AB Night Vision ARNVG with PVS-14 optics and a battery on board is coming in around 20 and a half ounces, flirting with 21 ounces. Guys, that two ounces of weight difference is is nothing when it comes to the quality, workmanship, and durability of these goggles. Again, I'm torquing on these. There's no pops, there's no play, there's no flex, um, which I wouldn't expect there to be with one, the workmanship, and also being made out of 7075. I mean, these things are absolute tanks. Could you break them? Maybe. I would go on a limb and be pretty confident say that I could drive my truck over these with no problem and they would still be fine. Don't know about the optics, but I know the housing would still be fine. I've never held anything that feels as strong and as durable as this. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, water rating down to 66 feet, so you're covered there if you're doing anything OTB or anything like that. Um, got a nice little battery tether um, thing um, holding your battery cap on there, that way you, know, you don't lose that. Um, just making sure, going over my list, again, Limo port, CR123, push button controls, power on the bottom, uh, IR illuminator on the top. We've went over the weight differences. We got independent pod shut off. Um, talks about the fence around that. And yeah, I got a low battery indicator. And again, comes in FDE and in flat black. Guys, another great thing about these this goggle system is that you can pick the tubes that go in there. So not only can you pick your housing and get exactly what you need to meet your applications, but if you give Lucentia Arms a call, we can go over all the different specs. We can go over the different tubes, tube options that we can put into this set of goggles and tailor make you a set to get you truly set up for success, to be able to just perform at maximum efficiency for your needs and applications. If you guys have any questions, please do not hesitate. Reach out to Lucenti Arms, shoot us a call, drop us an email, kick us a DM. We'll get you squared away with all the information that you need. Outside of that, stay safe, stay dangerous, stay frosty. We'll see you guys out there.